and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Taric Draven. We're going to be playing another aggressive Draven deck with Targon. Last time we were playing it with Draven and Darius and Pale Cascade was amazing playing uh, basically playing Pale Cascade Solari Soldier from Targon. Uh, we're going to be trying that again but this time we're going to be playing it in a Taric deck. So Taric's going to have um, Pale Cascade, Guiding Touch, um, Transfusion doesn't necessarily copy, but then also Might. So being able to play Taric means, you know, we get to play Might, be able to give our Taric plus the thing that's supporting, plus three, plus zero, and Overwhelm. Or, you know, we can use that with the Pale Cascade, draw a couple of cards. Um, let's see, we got some other support with Kato. Also having that, our Crescent Guardian is going to be a 5-3 Overwhelm for three. That's very big. And then, you know, we got just these good one drops, good two drops, Grenadier, Mountain Goat. Mountain Goat gets us the gems that we can either cast the gems and, and use that with Taric, or we can also discard gems to Spinning Axe. So we can use Spinning Axe with Taric as well. Um, yeah, that's kind of our deck, Taric Draven. This seems like it's going to be pretty sweet. We got Captain Farron at the top end. That card's awesome. I think that we're going to do pretty well with this deck. I'm, I'm confident in it. Even before we get started, I liked the Nox the Dra Draven Darius Noxus Targon deck we played a few days ago. But this one's going to be good too. Let's get rid of the Captain Farron, and I think I want to keep Transfusion. I'm not sure about Transfusion or not. Obviously, we're going to keep Saboteur Mountain Goat. Let's see, we have the Attack Token turn one. No, let's just cut Transfusion. Like, I could see Transfusion being good in. You know, setting up a good combat for us. But that would probably be like turn four, turn five, turn six, something like that. And so instead, we're just going to mulligan it. Maybe find it again later. I like that now we have the Draven to go on turn three. I have my orders. Everything's in place. All right, got our attack for three. The problem with them not blocking, that probably means Bright Seal Protector. And that's unfortunate. Yep, that's unfortunate. Damn it. The party has arrived. That's such a good start. No prey. Tracker and then attack token turn two, protector, kill a one drop for free. It's just the dream. That is the dream. So I'm a little surprised they blocked the Fleet Feather Tracker, to be honest. I was expecting them to block with the protector. Because Fleet Feather Tracker... Okay, well, they just have that card. I was going to say Fleet Feather Tracker was going to be able to challenge and with Misfortune would have been able to kill my Draven. Uh, I guess I'm just going to go Grenadier. No, maybe, maybe I should have gone Gem plus Guardian. Actually, I guess that's what I should have done is just Gem plus Guardian, shouldn't I? No, maybe not. Because if we're blocking with these things, I'd rather block with Grenadier. Like, I don't want to block with Crescent Guardian. So, I don't know. See, so we'll use the spinning axes to pump up the Draven. If I block, then next turn Kato won't be able to support anything. Time for the money makers. Um. Try me. We'll just see what we get. I could definitely see us drawing a one or two drop. There we go. Something to help out Crescent Guardian. Guiding Touch doesn't feel like it fits perfectly. That's a lot of damage to take. How do I stop a relentless pursuit of happiness? I'm not sure. 
No mercy for heretics. Yeah, I, I don't know if I can, honestly. If they, if they have any kind of rally effect and get to attack again, this may be game over. You're cute when you're armed. Firepower is always in style. Blessed is Mosha. At least we know that they won't have Citrus Courier. So 13 overwhelm, they can have seven block, that's still them taking six. So it's still them taking lethal. Now. Okay, well, they stay alive. Um, and a spinning axe doesn't doesn't help me out. All right, not a fan of these guiding touches. Not a fan of those. Break their spirits Just from what their we've seen souls. so far. Um. Enough, I'll end this. So there's no reason to block Misfortune. Pursuits game over. Because with the overwhelm, it would just kill Tarek. Alright, no relentless pursuit. GG's. These gems aren't just for show. Got five mana. Alright, Twisted Fate Swain, this is a very good test. I like all the cards in our hands, so we're gonna keep. All right, cool. We got the captain at the top end. Even not playing anything on turn two, it's really not that big a deal. Like I like having the Pell Cascade on turn two to go along with the Draven. So even if we don't, yeah, it's perfectly fine. We'll just go to turn three. I don't really want to. I don't want to see the the stun card. The stun spider. Okay, not the stun spider. Punish transgressions. Um. Alternatively, I don't have to. I don't have to challenge. What if I don't challenge? I'm just gonna attack. See, I like that. I'd rather my 2-2 just trade with a 3-1 here. I like that more. We got the backup Draven for this one dying. Yeah, I don't have to grab that powder keg. I'm always up for a round or two. Blue card. Soak it in. Flock? All or nothing.
yours is the one true light. So I want to get that in with the daybreak. Yeah, that, the problem is, of course, his red card. I'm a I did have the red card. Alright, got punished. So I really want to level up Draven, which would mean, you know, we discard one Spinning Axe, which we're just going to do that anyway. It means we have to discard something else. Now we're, cooking. we're definitely using one Axe. So we want to use another Axe. It would probably be the Might, because then next, because next turn we're going to go play Mountain Goat and Crescent Guardian. So like the Might. So do we discard Might to get leveled up? What do you, you know, for? Overwhelm Draven. I think so. I think I'm not going to be spending the mana on that, but we'll see. What's my name? Leveled up Overwhelmed Draven is just is really nice. Difficult card to deal with. I guess it probably should have been Captain Farron, wouldn't it? Mm. Maybe it should have been Captain Farron. Yeah, that's true. Guiding Touch is really good in this matchup. How I was just talking about how I didn't really like the Guiding Touch. Guiding Touch would be great in this matchup if they rely on Ravenous Flock so much. I really don't know why they're not attacking with Swain. Everything's in place. Axes coming right up. The hunter. So we're having a might would have been nice. Charmed, I'm sure. Justify yourself. What? Why would you death hand the Crescent Guardian? It's just gonna die anyway. What's the point of that? Their time has come. Draven out. Gonna have both of these be three power to that so they are, can both block the fearsome swain. And now our opponent's kind of stabilizing, and this is where Captain Farron takes over. Alright, thanks for ending it. Actually, I mean, if they have another removal spell here, they... If I kill you, I don't fart you. Yeah, actually, another removal spell, and they win this. Wow, so close. So close. Double Stun Spider almost got them that. They just need one, one removal spell there. All right, GG's. Yeah, if they just didn't waste that death sand, they played for no reason.
Demacia. Do a guiding touch against Demacia. You know, we'll have Solari Soldier turn one, Precious Pet turn two. If the guiding touch goes with the Taric. Maybe we just mulligan both those. Get some more aggressive stuff. Bless the faithful and fear the heretics. Punish transgressions. I'll go Saboteur Precious Pet. Right here. Ready for deployment! No one's the wiser. Chase steel! And now Soldier plus Mountain Goat. Ours is the one true light. Discipline and steel! I could hold up Hill Cascade. So let's say I play Mountain Goat attack, they block. You know, like 2-2, two, 2-1. Two, two, Neither of their things die. They take 8 damage. 9 damage. They're down to 8. And get a gem. Both their things are still alive. If I play Pale Cascade, then we, we kill one of their things. Two of our things still die. We only do 6 damage to them. We'll do the damage and get the gem. Meet them head on. You will not prevail. Demacian steel protects me. <laughs> All right, there it is. Great card. One mana, three, three. Down to zero. GG's. Three now. Good job, Crescent Guardian. <laughs> Before they got a turn on the fifth. Uh, yeah, we've played Horns of the Dragon and Might before, but it's been a long, long time. Bunch of cool spells. We're gonna get rid of Might and I guess Transfusion. And I guess Kato. We just need early stuff. Hmm. Guiding touch against scouts again. Not the best. Ours is the one true light. Good job, soldier. Get that three damage in. Yeah, this is not... Yeah, I agree. This is not really the matchup that I want to face. We were able to pull out a win last time against scouts. But it's not the matchup that I am... wanting. The question is, yes, yeah, so I'm not going to like block there and then they just use whatever combat trick and they keep their thing alive. I'll, I'll let me have my combat trick. The question is, is do we play Precious Pet before attacking and let them play like Misfortune? That kind of seems like a problem. I think I'll just attack. But then I don't get like to draw a card off Pill Cascade. I guess that's even worse. No pray, no pay. Yep, Taric with... Pale Cascade, definitely great. So I could I could wait, I could save Pale Cascade. And attack here. Unless we just want to attack it. Yeah, I guess we just attack in. If they block with Misfortune, then I guess I guess we're not gonna save Pale Cascade. Getting Misfortune 
um, out of play is very important. Sharp Sight would be what would save Misfortune. I kind of felt like they have Ranger's Resolve. Oh, let's make it rain. Okay, we're just gonna let make it rain happen. Never stop shooting. Safeguard our citizens. Beauty and life. I didn't really care about open attack. I'm. I want to play Tarek this turn and have two mana for Pale Cascade, so I'm not playing Gem. They're doing four to me. It's fine. Um, let's see. But I do have two Pale Cascades, so we could play one here. And we keep Tarek alive. No further. Love ya. Is that gonna be open attacking? Forcing their misfortune to block. I have these guiding touches that can heal stuff. We're gonna go gem and then pale cascade and then attack. Gem. Now pale cascade. <clears throat> and then copy pale cascade. Never submit. And then I have guiding touch also. Afterwards. Go ahead, you want your misfortune to block? Or do you want to take nine? My kind of party. Okay, they're gonna have their misfortune block. We'll kill that. So there we go. I think that worked out well for us. So now Tarek just needs one more to level up, so one Guiding Touch on a Tarek would also level up Tarek. Oh, wow. Blessing of Targon is so good. Oh, Blessing of Targon is so good. Alright, let's see. Who wants to die to a Challenger? Precious Pet, you can die. Well, I should have Saboteur die. Keep Precious Pet. No one's the wiser. Just like honey thresher geese. Valor! Scouting ahead. I am the protector of the mountain. Of the mountain. And if, if they are able to kill my Tarek through another Guiding Touch, we just play other Tarek, so it's not the worst. Okay. So we're going to... So they're at 10. Wish I had one more mana. I guess maybe I shouldn't have played one of these. No, we're fine. Okay, so we have Blessing of Targon and Might. And... Shatter them. In position. Blessing of Targon. Attack. Whatever they block, we might. That's far enough. That should be good. These two can't die, they can't take any damage, can't die. GG's. Four no. These gems aren't just for show. Yeah, blessing of Targon is just five mana back to back. Ah, back against scouts. Third time against scouts. We we got the upper hand the first two, but still not sure this is a matchup that I love. But also we had the attack token turn one, turn three, turn five. That's big having. The attack token then against the scouts before. Might goes well with the Taric with attacking. I'll keep it. 
Nothing at three at the moment, but we got three draw steps for that. We'll find stuff. See, found stuff. But also, I could I could just save the three mana from turn three and turn four because we're gonna be attacking turn four, so we can attack turn four and play Tarek. Just gonna take the trade before they use, you know, Bright Seal Protector. All their kind of stuff they get to use. Gonna take the trade. Bless the people and fear the heretics. Follow the horizon. New recruit reporting in. Hmm. Ooh, I had a good start. Triple one drop. I'm cool. No here. misfortune. That's good. The party has arrived. They can use like sharp sight, challenge Draven, kill Draven. This may not be a Taric on turn four game now. We'll have to see. We won't have a spell to play with Taric. I guess spinning axe. But we'd have to spinning axe and discard like might, because otherwise it it counts. That's a good two drop for scouts. Fortune Croaker. It's a good one. Yeah, I, w I don't think I'd want to do that either. That's not a good a good play with Tarek discard. You know, spinning axe discard might. That's not a good play. I don't want to do that. No mercy for heretics. Hey, buddy, what you doing? This means that likely my tracker will kill the Draven the next turn. Um, that's still, you know, still getting a two for one for us. I bring clarity. So now we get to have Spinning Axe discard Spinning Axe. That's the only good part about blocking. Time for the money makers. Sharp. Unyielding. Oh, it doesn't copy? I thought it would copy if it didn't. So they count the spinning axe as an ally? Basically, because it says, you know, copy the only spell they cast on only... Copy the last spell that you cast on only me this round. Which we did only cast it on, on them. But because you have to discard one, it... I know that it counts as like whenever you target like a, a unit to discard, that's counting as target. Whenever you just discard a unit, that's counting as targeting a unit, and that counts towards leveling up Tarek, which is really weird. Like so, like we could have Spinning Axe discard Grenadier right here, and then it, Tarek would be three out of four, which is weird. But yeah, so like it's it's two out of seven. So it targeted. I guess even just the the regular cards are counted as allies. Also, that's super weird. I thought, it, I thought it was only the units were counted as the allies, but I guess that other spinning axe in hand was an ally, because yeah, it does say two out of seven. Or no, no, oh no, because the two out of seven, there was the support. We targeted once and supported once. So why was it all not copied? I don't know. I don't know, it should be copied over. So we'll save Tarek with Pale Cascade. Draw Guiding Touch. No. no. Yep, that's my plan. So my plan is save Tarek. Well, my plan was save Tarek, but I'm just gonna kill Tarek now. I'll do my best. So they're gonna challenge both my champions, but and then I was gonna have Kato plus Might. I was gonna Might Kato, Kato or uh, Might Tarek, Tarek support Kato. Just have to go like this. Dangerous water. <laughs> Axes coming right up. Up top. <laughs> Whoa, hey! If my Tarek didn't die, this would have been a, a crazy good turn. Even if they would have killed da uh, Draven, wouldn't really matter because we'd had Grenadier. 
Please just make this block. That's a good block. So that's 15, one health. There we go, GG's, that's a 5-0. GG's. Damn, I'm good. 5-0 Dream. With Tarek Draven. We had some things work out for us. We definitely just went for lethal a few of those games and didn't really have a whole lot of backup, especially that third game whenever I had the turn five kill that I just went for it. Um, but opponents didn't have didn't have like you know the answers they needed and we were able to kill them very quickly. That game would have been very easy if they would have done the the more obvious thing of have one of each challenger, like one challenge Raven, one challenge Tarek. We would have won that fairly easily that last turn but they did it correctly killing the Tarek and uh, but didn't block very much wasn't a very good block so that's that's Tarek Draven uh Tarek's Tarek's good you know like for people you know there's people that that uh don't think Tarek's any good there we go showing that you can still play Tarek these days and put up a, a good little record there those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. But thank you so much for watching some Tarek Draven, and I'll see you for the next video.